Hi, my name is Mario Sandonio. Um, I'm from Cyprus and I'm passionate about bringing uh, change into my home country. Um, and that change would be to promote a culture of peace. I, uh, I started doing uh, peace building work uh, back in 1998 uh, after first uh, having the experience to attend Seeds of Peace in Maine, USA. Uh, that was the first time I met a Turkish Cypriot in my life. And ever since, I've been uh, involved with different organizations, some that I created with other friends um, in the past, an organization called Youth Promoting Peace. Uh, more recently, uh, I am involved with uh, Cyclists Across Barriers, which is uh, an organization that promotes uh, the coming together of uh, people from all communities of Cyprus and learn about the common heritage that people have on the island. Um, I'm also an academic uh, and I do research on integrated education, more like uh, integrated schools uh, and I'm a teacher as well uh, so I go into schools and teach and uh, just try to bring a different uh, spin uh, into the more normal day. Uh, it troubles me to think that back in the time of my parents there were some things that were considered normal like needing a UN convoy to take you through the mountain it was just considered normal. And I'm troubled by the fact that my generation has also been seeing this division, this division as a normal thing, uh, which is not. Um, and uh, this normalcy is what I'm trying to change. It's not normal. Through my academic work, uh, I want to uh, promote knowledge about how and integrated education system can be constructed or what it should entail. Uh, meaning, one day I want to see Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots within the same educational system, uh, within the same public education system. Having a separated education system is having a separate society. So that's one of my key uh, academic interests. In the Cyclists Across Barriers project, we promote understanding of our common identity or common past through cycling around the narrow streets of Nicosia and talking about all this cultural heritage wealth that we have on this island. Uh, another project I'm involved with is Sistema Cyprus, an organization I, uh, I joined through the beginning. Um, and this teaches music to children of immigrant, refugee, and in general, uh, students who had have low um, economic status and they could not otherwise afford to have music education. That offers these kids an identity and through the, their participation in an orchestra, and it makes them visible within the society. Um, so there used to be a, a lot of uh, effort to bring about uh, work through NGOs in Cyprus and there was a lot of funding. So here we were, a group of uh, about 16 to 17 year olds and we applied to get some funds essentially to pay for our bus uh, that would take us to Pila uh, to meet Turkish Cypriots and have money for like some a coat. Um, and we applied, uh, but we started being teenagers and had so many more ideas and we ended up applying. And we ended up getting it, but they wouldn't give us the money because none of us was over 18. So they gave us a bunch of more money to hire an adult. Sometimes this uh, reminds me of how teenagers who have a vision or a dream about their place are unstoppable. And I really miss times because I I think I felt even more unstoppable than now. And more in I parks, Irini, Horis, Ekpedevsi, Kadini, Irini, Stingipro.